Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well. Today's video is gonna be kind of fun. Um, I am taking the flatbed bedsides off the truck and the headache rack so I can put the camper on um, because day after tomorrow morning, first thing in the morning, hitting the road, 2,000 mile plus round trip and going camping. So gotta put the camper on, gotta throw on the bike rack, gotta put on the light bar. A um, Couple things I get ready to go uh, on a camping trip like this and I'll show you what I pack inside as well, I think so. Yeah, it should be kind of a fun video getting uh, ready for a trip and thought I would take you guys along and see how that goes. So I better get started. Okay, so first step is to remove the drop down bedsides. These are all bolted on and can come right off so that I have this perfectly flat surface for the camper to mount on. So got my impact, got my wrench and gonna start popping all these off and show you what that looks like right now. All right, so all the bedsides are off. Obviously, headache rack comes off, and I've got this perfectly flat surface, which makes it easy to put the camper on. So theoretically, this should be back right under, but because I'm on the hill of the slope of my driveway, it's a little trickier, and, and I can barely get it because the front wheels are down the hill, the back of the truck is up pretty high. So I gotta crank the camper up way higher than I normally would if it was just a perfectly flat surface. But that's what I'm gonna do next is crank these trailer tongue jacks that I uh, modified for the camper lift. And um, I'll show you how that works and then we can back the truck under. Okay, so obviously here's the camper. We've got the uh, jack system that I built for it. These are trailer tongue jacks and I got them at Harbor Freight for about 25 bucks. And they're just manual, there's no hydraulics, so they're just screws. So you just crank them like this and I'm gonna go around all four corners and crank this up. So this is something that I didn't um, make into the camper from day one was these jack inserts because I was really struggling on how I was going to make them waterproof. Ended up not really being a big deal, kind of just something I learned along the way, but I ended up cutting the camper floor off and uh, building these um, insert tubes which are eighth inch steel one by two and the camper jacks themselves have these little guys that insert into them. So just plugs right in, it's super secure and holds the jacks and lifts the camper. All right. Yep. Okay, so I don't usually worry about getting it too perfect at this point because it's easy to shift. So um, now I'm under it, I can start lowering it and I'll show you just how easy it is to pin it together. Pretty much drop it right on. Yeah. 
Huh? Yeah, but I'm almost done. So now that I've got that one corner pinned, everything will rotate around that corner. So it's really close. I just jack these guys completely up like this and can slide them out like that. So put this around the back. All right, so once all the bolts are through the flatbed, just a quick rip with the impact. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the camper is on the track. All right, so camper's on the truck now. Next thing I'm gonna put on is the uh, light bar and shovel mount. Nice to have a shovel. Honestly, probably one of the most important pieces of kit. Uh, for the whole truck when you're out driving trails or whatnot gotta have a shovel so convenient way to mount it and uh, I like having this light bar come on and off this is one of the first projects I did for the truck <clears throat> to see in the dark yes yeah really I love you. Really? You sure? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think I got it. Uh, whoops, I think my microphone died in the middle of filming this, so I don't have any audio for this. But basically what I'm trying to show is the air hose, and I plug it into the front of the bumper. That's where I have my quick disconnect for my compressor. Um, turn this on, and I use it to fill up the air bags in the back to help support the camper. Yeah? Okay. I also didn't record what I was doing here, but right here I am just about to attach the bike rack so that I can take my mountain bike on this trip. Um, plan on doing some riding and bend, so it's a really easy process. Just slide the slide out and place the bolts in and it's good to go. Big. Antler? No, this big bone. Let him bone there. Alright guys, well, camper is on and uh, I think I'm going to stop here and next video is going to be just going over some of the stuff I put in the truck um, for the trip, like extra gas, solar, fridge, snatch strap, that kind of stuff. But take a more detailed look on that in a short video, but light bar is on, camper is mounted, and oh, I gotta plug this in. <laughs> Pretty much ready to go, because I gotta clean out the camper and gotta lift my- All right, guys, well, I ran out of time filming that video, and I had to turn the camera off and get packed up and get out on that trip. So that was the end of what I recorded that day. And then I went on that trip, and it's been about two weeks to the day now. Um, Today is Sunday, and that was a Sunday, and uh, yeah, so two weeks to the day, and I did that trip. It was an awesome, awesome trip, and I've got some footage. Maybe I'll do a little preview of some of the uh, places we went at the end of this video. But yeah, kind of a simple video. I know just me taking off the flatbed sides, putting the camper on, not super interesting, uh, nothing groundbreaking really, but wanted to share that because I've had a lot of people ask me about how the camper attaches, um, how I lift it off, and hopefully that kind of shows both of those things. Um, another part of it was the um, how it's attached. A lot of people ask me how it's attached. That's something I thought about a lot when I was making it, um, trying to figure out how I was going to actually attach it to the flatbed. And in the end, I went with something with attaching it on the outside. I think next time I would attach it on the inside. Um, I was worried about having holes in the floor of the camper and that not being waterproof. 
but it's kind of just like not even an issue. Um, the water doesn't want to get like no noticeable amount of water wants to get under there and come up into the camper. So next time I think I would do um, attachment through the inside of the camper, be totally hidden, um, technically more secure, but also just like a cleaner look. Um, and, but I would definitely keep these jack um, insert points, do the same thing. I might even add a jack insert at the top here as well, just a little one so that the jack would have more stability on its own without having the cross brace. Um, but overall, yeah, really happy with how the camper is able to be quickly removed, quickly replaced on the truck. Makes the truck so much more useful. Um, utility, I think, is like a big part of being able to really enjoy a vehicle you have. It can be multifunctional. We drive this around town as a family. Um, I take it on these trips like we just did 3,000 miles, basically. And uh, it's nice to just have something that you could do both those things with. But um, yeah, that kind of wraps it up for today's video. Just wanted to say thank you to all of you guys um, who've subscribed to the channel and uh, who are on my Instagram account as well. Huge, huge, huge thank you to everybody because the trip I just went on would not have come about without everybody following along. So thank you guys and excited to continue making these videos and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Hey Haley. Oh, come here.